Hey y'all, y'all come on in. I'm Alisa and today I'm making an old fashioned pound cake that was handed down to me by a young, wonderful young lady. But before we get started, like, share, subscribe. Let's get started with this pound cake. All right, y'all, let's get started on this pound cake. So I was given this recipe by a really great and awesome young lady. And she, she has made it for so long, everyone just loves it. So she said, here, you try it on your chin and see how it go. So here we are. So we're going to start this recipe off with three sticks of salted butter. That right there is already two sticks. Here's that third stick. And we're just going to cream it for a few minutes. Just a little bit. And while that's creaming, I'm going to add a little bit of a different butter. Some of this. Like, can you see that? I know. Weird, right? But the cake is really, really, really good. So I'm just going to throw in a tablespoon of that. And while that's going, we're going to add in three cups of sugar. Some vanilla. So I have one tablespoon of vanilla as well as one teaspoon of almond extract. So I'm gonna let this all cream together for about eight minutes. And let's see how it looks after that. It should be lightened in color and fluffy. Alright, you guys, it's been about four minutes, and you see that it has lightened in color and gotten pretty thick, but we're not done yet. And scrape this down. Because I have one more thing to add to it to you know as it continues on creaming. I have some cream cheese. A whole block. Oops, sorry, y'all. A whole block of cream cheese. And it was very, and it was specified very specifically now. Get the good kind. Look, can y'all see that? Yeah, get the good kind, you guys. Get the good kind. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on and let it finish creaming for about five more minutes. And let's see how it looks after that. Be right back, you guys. All right, you guys, it's creamed all together. Now, here's the strange part for me. I'm so used to a, a pound cake or any cake, for that matter, having baking powder in it. But she was so amazed. She was like, what does the baking powder do? I'm like, what, what you mean? So, there is no baking powder in here. But there is eggs, as always, and flour. And a pinch of salt. I know I use salted butter. But she was very clear. Just a pinch. You know, a pinch isn't a lot. What well, you can get between your two fingers, your your forefinger and your thumb. If that's all you can get, that's your pinch. So I'm gonna put that pinch in the flour, and I'm a I'm going to go ahead and start adding the eggs. I have six whole eggs, so I will add these one at a time, and I'll be back after I add. Well, I'm about to add the last egg, then I'll be back. Y'all look at me. I said I'd be back and I'm about to add the last egg and I just added the last last egg. But anyway, all right. So if I didn't explain it, um, the thing when she was asking what does baking powder do, I'm like, that's your leavener. That's what helps it rise. She was like, rise? That's what the egg's for. Just like that. That's what the egg's for. I'm like, mm, a little suspect, but we're going to go with it. 
but the cake is awesome. So I said, okay, I'll try. So I'm just gonna scrape this down. And so the flour we're gonna use today is cake flour. And it's sifted. So I have two cups, but according to her, you can use two and three quarter or the full three cups. So let's go ahead and start adding this flour. Cause so far, look how thick that is. It looks really good. There's no milk. Can you imagine that? There's no milk, buttermilk, whole milk. There's no milk. All right, so here goes the flour. Again, you can use two and three quarter cup or a full three cup of sifted cake flour. I'm excited for this. All right, you guys, it looks pretty good. It's pretty thick without being overly thick. And there's no milk. So there's still some flour left. Let me see. I don't know if you guys can see how much flour is actually left in there. It's a little more than a quarter cup because, you know, three quarter cup. These just a, uh, one quarter cup. So I'm going to add half of what's left in here to see what happens at the end. Oh, that's about a good quarter cup left. So that should be about two and three quarter cup of flour that I have used. All right, y'all. All I did was just add the rest of that flour and just let it beat for maybe five seconds. Not too long because I don't want to over mix it. So it looks really good. What you think? So let's add this to my pan. Well, I might want to prepare that pan first. One second. All right, you guys, I got my pan prepared. I actually put a little butter in it, and then I sprayed it with some nonstick baking spray that also has flour in it. So I'm just going to put this in the oven at 325, and I will check it after one hour. And when I come back, I will let you guys know how long it took me to bake this cake at 325. All right, y'all, the cake is out of the oven. It took exactly one hour at 325. It's a very pretty golden brown. The video makes it look a little bit darker, but not too much darker, but it's such a gorgeous golden brown. But I'll let it cool off for about 10, 15 minutes, and then I'll flip it out. I'll be right back, you guys. All right, you guys, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's flip out this cake, and let's hope that it falls out very, very easily. Who is hot? I need a towel. Hang on, you guys. All right, let's try that again. All right, I have a towel and a little oven mitt so we can try to get this in my hand just right. I'm making it so much harder than it needs to be. Remove this. Yep, I'm just making it so typical, y'all. It shouldn't be this hard. All right. And it fell right out so quick and easy. What? Check it out. Check it out. That looks fantastic. Just gonna slide it over a little bit. Oh, look how amazing that looks. Again, I, I greased the pan with some butter and then some baking spray that had um, flour already mixed in, you know, like Baker's Joy. That's all I used. All right, I'm gonna let this cool off for a couple minutes. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna let it cool off for a couple minutes because I gotta go get my big knife. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I have my big knife. So let's cut into it. And you see how thick that is? And there's no baking powder in there. There's no milk. I'm going to cut this wide so you guys can see the inside. Let 
Look at that. Oh, yes. Can you see inside that cake? Oh, uh-huh. Can you see the smoke? Let's give it a try. Making so much noise. It's so tender, y'all. It's so spongy. It's, I want to call it spongy, but it's so soft. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. It's so good. Y'all, it's so good. Look at the smoke. Can you see the smoke? Yeah, this is so good. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Y'all make some of this. Make make some of this. This you get your life together if you make some of this. Alright, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.